Hi guys, Paul here, Jurassic Rambler. Hope everyone's well. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Today I am testing and doing a review, should I say, of the Decathlon 4 Class MT900 Down Jacket. Now this is one of probably the top end of uh, Decathlon's Down Jacket range. As you know, they do sort of a, a low, which is the MT100, the mid, which is the MT500, and then the, the top of their range tends to be the MT900. And, and if you go into Decathlon, you'll see it with their backpacks, sometimes with their tents, sometimes with their coats, that they, they sort of bracket them into those three buckets. I lived in France for 13, 14 years, so I was always a big fan of Decathlon when I lived there. It's the, sort of the go-to shop for most people in France for hiking gear, skiing gear. It's always good quality. It's well-tested. They have a... Um, a research and development uh, lab over in the, the French Alps. So everything here is, is, is tested and before it goes to the shelves. So you know you, you're getting good quality stuff. This jacket in itself um, retails in £109, which again, I always look at these boxes around value for money. Um, does it does it serve its purpose? And does it, you know, um, in terms of me, I'm very weight conscious at this moment in time. I do a lot of backpacking and hiking, wild camping. And this jacket as well is, is fairly light, I think, for what you get. It comes in at around about 585 grams. This is an extra large. Okay. As I say, cost £109, a really good value. If you look at something like the Mountain Equipment Light Line, which I think is a very comparable type of jacket, that will come in at £170. So I think you get a lot, of, lot for your money here. Okay. What Decathlon do states is that this jacket, as they sell it, is at minus 18. It'll go down to minus 18. That's slightly misleading when you do read the small print on their website because um, that's what they call active. So active as in if you were walking or perhaps moving around with, with base layers on top of it, you this jacket would perform down to those sorts of temperatures. Obviously, um, that's not always the case. And I think from a, a comfort rate, and I think it's more applicable around the minus five mark, it'll go down to there. It'll probably perform better than that. Everyone has their own sort of thresholds around the um, where they start to feel the cold. I've certainly worn it on a couple of camps and it's been fine sort of down the, the zero and just sub-zero. Okay, the actual jacket itself comes in two colours. It's a, um, I think they call it a carbon grey and a whale gray this is the the whale one so it's it's sort of the bluey and it has sort of a black insert onto the uh the shoulders and onto the cuffs it's a 15 denier fabric um so very durable the actual cuffs that you see there and the actual hood and the shoulders um are slightly i think they're coming at 20 denier and that's obviously it's a bit more of a braise of material that's on there as well so slightly thicker there to give a bit more um durability I say it weighs in 585 grams. It is a um, beautiful jacket. Um, I, as I say, worn it a couple of times. It's been great during the camp. Has um, normal pockets, two pockets there. It's also inside, if you can see, it has. Just undo that. You have another pocket either side there, which is useful for storing stuff, and then it has a check. A chest zip pocket there again which you can um, store more stuff in there maybe your map or whatever <laughs> zip wise white cake zip. really good double zip as well so if you wanted to if you were be laying or had a harness on you can obviously uh, access it there and that gives you a bit more uh, accessibility from the jacket the zip works fine it's got lovely um, zip pulls on it as well so you can do that with one hand you don't need two hands to do it obviously has um cinch points at the waist and also at the hood so the hood has two points there where you can actually tighten the hood down what it doesn't have with the hood is one at the back So, so there's no there's no way you can actually tighten your hood at the back to bring it in. That's the, probably the only one of the few negatives on it. I quite like to, to zip, pull it in and cinch it in at the back to get a, a nice fit. But certainly if you had a helmet on underneath this, this would be uh, absolutely fine. Um, also, with this jacket, you have a um, 
ventilation zips under the arms or pit zips as they call them. You've got one there and one there again. So for me, this is this is a, a sort of a camp jacket really or when I'm stopping. Um, I don't think I'd obviously um, walk and be active in this jacket, certainly not the temperatures in the UK. But if I was, obviously they're, they're great to allow um, ventilation in. The actual construct of the, the jacket uses a 650 um, fill down and it has a, uh, I think a fill in ratio of 85% down to 15% feathers, which again is, is really, really good. The other thing I like about it is the actual baffles. You see the baffles are quite, um, quite large, quite wide. And that is great because what that does, it allows the um, the down and the fed to loft up, and that's what really does trap the um, provide that insulation for you to keep your body warm. So when you've got sort of quite lot bigger um, baffles on that, rather than some of the small ones, you, you tend to get a, a better um, insulation in it. As I say, uh, worn it a couple of times, been really good. The only other bit I quite like on it as well is the cuffs. The cuffs themselves, you can actually um, see there, the actual elastication of the cuff actually goes quite way back uh, under the sleeve as well. So again, it's quite nice because you can actually pull the, the actual jacket right over, over your hands as well. So it's again, another small point, but another feature that I quite like. Um, overall, it's been great. You know, I think again, real value for money. Um, I haven't seen too many reviews in these jackets and I haven't seen to be honest, too many people wearing them when I've been out and about in the hills. So I, th I thought it was it was useful to put a review on because um, as I say, I'm a, a big, big fan of Decathlon. I always think you get really good value for money there. Not everything they do is, is, is great, but the majority of the stuff in terms of, you know, budget end, you can, you know, you all go far wrong. This is a two year guarantee as well with the jackets again, which is, in itself is, <laughs> It's pretty impressive this day and age so anyway that's the the jacket hope you liked the review please add any comments please like and subscribe to the channel please hopefully there might be a little um little like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen somewhere so um yeah that's it for now and hopefully see you in the next video soon thanks for watching guys take care